Nick Saban told him, if you go to LSU, we're going to beat you every time we play you. And obviously that did happen. But now Nick Saban can't say that. Yeah. How, how nice is that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. You know, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to help in recruiting. Uh, now that he can't say that much, and now you know, next thing for us is get a national championship, so we can um, have a little something else to, to hang on. Obviously, the end goal this season was to beat Alabama. Yeah. It's the one SEC in the national championship, but this game seems, in some ways, more monumental than those games would be, just because everything that went into it and the build up to it. Uh, I guess for the for the fans, maybe. But for us, it's, just, it's another game, you know. Uh, it's a big game, but we, we still have three more games, hopefully you know, six more games moving forward. So uh, we got to move on. Now, fans, could, they can hang on to it, but for us, we, we're the ones who are playing, so we got to move forward. There was so much talk going into this game of how much better equipped was like kind of the catchphrase that you guys were to, to beat Bama this year. How much better equipped is this team to handle these big moments and the emotions and get back to work in terms of the leadership that you have? Uh, I feel like we we have a lot. We, we, in the past, I feel like we just had like one or two leaders maybe. And now I feel like every position has a leader. Uh, and not just guys that are rah-rah and wants to do a pregame speech, whatever, but just guys who lead by example, who has respect in their room. And I feel like you know, that's, that's huge for, for, um, for the great teams. All great teams have that. And just to show, lead the, show the young guys how to do things and how to approach and how to get past big wins and move forward to the next one. Y'all talked some about coming out here on Saturdays over the summer. How much did those days create what's happening now? That, that's why those days are why, why we are su successful now. Uh, just the extra work. Not a lot of people getting up on Saturday mornings at 9 o'clock and getting extra routes, extra footwork, extra, you know, um, doing one-on-one -on -one drills, not a lot of people doing that. So uh, I think they put us ahead of the game this season. Obviously the coaching staff can't be out there. Who initiated all of those things? Players, player-driven. You know, we try to be a player-driven team. Uh, we don't want coaches always getting on us and telling us to do things. So I mean, it's all, it's really all just players. Was it the entire team out there? Like I know the receivers and Joe and all that was very influential for them timing, but who else came out? Yeah, one, I mean, one day, uh, Maybe the first or the second uh, weekend of the summer, the whole pretty much the whole offense was there, and then the defense came later on that day. But that morning, the O line got here at like ten, and Joe and the receivers are out there um, running routes and doing one on ones. And uh, I mean, I, some of the, some of the, they had some recruits um, come through uh, with the coaches, and it just so happened that we were all out there. So that was a good look for, just to see pretty much the whole team, the whole offense is out there getting at work on Saturday morning. How then, I mean, y'all obviously <coughs> were all installing this new offense and it started obviously earlier in the year, but by the time you were, having done all that over the summer, by the time y'all started preseason camp in August, how ready do y'all feel? How much do you think y'all were clicking at that time? Yeah, the, pretty much the whole offense was in already. Uh, we all, we knew the, the playbook inside out. We knew everything, all the calls. So it was just a matter of going out and executing. We knew everything. We already, cause we worked it all throughout the spring spring practice, summer, so once we got to fall camp, it was, it was go time, it was, it was rolling. What are some, I mean, it was obviously hot out there, yeah. um, but what are some of your fondest memories of those days? Uh, I remember, well, I remember we, uh, O-line coming in, getting in drills, going outside and seeing all the receivers and the quarterbacks um, getting in work, and then we going and run some extra sprints on the other fields, and it was just, it was great to see everybody out there putting in work and really trying to get better, getting in shape, doing it, with, doing what they have to do to to um, have a great year. And we're doing it now. We're just gonna try to keep rolling. I mean, yeah. What could you tell in that moment about what y'all had? I, I knew it was gonna be special because uh, in the past we'll we'll have just a few guys. We'll have people here on Saturdays, but just it wasn't everybody. Like everyone from starters to walk on was here. It didn't matter. Like everyone was here. And there wasn't no coaches telling us to do this. It was just yeah, guys, leaders in our group telling guys we're we doing this and so come on. And everyone showed up. 